how has athletics impacted your own personal story? Well, I, I think uh, I was I was an active athlete before I was injured, but um, you know when you lay in uh, you know I laid in a hospital bed for six months, went through seven operations, literally why they put me back together again, and it's really frustrating and you, and you become very demoralized. Uh, it's depressing. Uh, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of you know adjustment to to the disability, and um, I really was starting to think that gee, I'm never going to be active again. You know, you start to believe these these myths about, uh, well, you can't do this. And I, I would literally lay there in bed and not even realize it, but I'd go through the checklist of, gee, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do this anymore because now I'm a person with a disability, most of which was not true. But I had to get out and actually try something to, to, to find that out. And some veterans helped me to get started uh, in skiing. That was my first sport. And um, literally within a couple of days, I was able to come down the mountain, feeling free again, feeling the wind in my face, being in the great outdoors after being in a in a ward in a hospital in a hospital and it was absolutely the most fantastic feeling in the world the contrast between being immobile and then suddenly being free again and, and screaming down the mountain and that's really what got me hooked on adaptive sports it was like boy this is the most wonderful thing in the world and from that you know i i wanted to share it with others because I realized how beneficial it was to me and how it really gave me a kickstart again back into life. And um, and that was 45 years ago and uh, still doing it, so. Yeah, and you're still going strong. And Kirk, wouldn't you say that, you know, when, when you learn to adapt into a sport, it also helps you out, just from a rehabilitation standpoint. Um, one of the things, that once you learn how to adapt and, and you know, move into something more from a physical aspect, that's one thing to do from a sports aspect, but even from uh, a vocational or an occupational rehabilitation standpoint, uh, you have to see that all the time with the people that you work with. Well, uh, you're absolutely right, Jameson. Uh, we uh, Disabled Sports USA has a motto, if I can do this, I can do anything. And really that epitomizes what you just talked about. When we ch uh, you know, achieve something in sport, when I learned how to make a turn on a ski, or somebody learns how to get on a bicycle without falling, um, it really starts to increase our confidence. It's, it, it gives us a sense that we're back in charge of our lives again. And we really then start to feel like, hey, I can, you know, I can conquer the world now. I can get out there and do things. And it reflects itself and it, and it has an impact on our social life. It has an impact on our confidence and our impact on our, um, and leading to employment and, and education. And we've actually at Disabled Sports USA, we did a study with the Department of Labor uh, several years ago. And we found that uh, this was in fact true. Uh, when we surveyed active members of Disabled Sports USA compared to the general disabled population, and we found that those who are active in sports, you know, are twice as likely to be employed, twice as likely to be physically active, uh, to lead a healthy lifestyle, to feel better about themselves and to be more social. So these are all side effects, if you will, of being involved in sports. I'm, I'm a total, uh, convert is to, in terms of, um, of what sports can do for your entire life. 